Hi, I'm Curtis. I study energy engineering at the University of Huddersfield and I'm going to show you around today. So this is the Hazlitt building. It's actually a converted mill where I spend most of my time in lectures or in tutorials or in the workshops and labs. This is the design studio which is great for working on group projects. I come in here to work on one of my group projects which was to design a solar panel which is part of the mechanical design module. The space is split into three main parts. It has an area which is used for teaching, a computer area which I practice CAD on as all the PCs have SOLIDWORKS and other industry software. The final space is a lab which you mainly use in your first year. This is Team Hawk's workshop. Team Hawk compete in a national competition run by the accrediting body IMEC-E. The challenge is to create an unmanned aircraft aerial system that can carry a load and navigate different obstacles. The 3D printers are in here as the team can make the parts for their drones, but any student can come in and use 3D printers. This is where two of our brand new wind tunnels live. £100,000 was spent on the kit in here, so this refrigeration cycle would be commissioned so you can take what you've learnt in the lectures and use that knowledge in the lab to see how it works. I did refrigeration in my second year for the thermofluids module. The wind tunnels are cool, they help to bring to life aerodynamic theory. So in my second year we looked at the aerodynamics of a van to see how airflow affected the van's performance. So we'll just nip next door to show you the student support services before we go to the rest of the labs. We're in the Spark Jones building now, which is next door to the Hazlitt building and this corridor has most of the School of Computing Engineering support services on, which you can visit any time. The guidance team are on hand to help with report writing and revision techniques, or if you're struggling with mathematical principles, they can help with that too. They look over your draft assignments before you submit them and give you tips on how to improve. All you need to do is email them to book a one-to-one -one support session. The student support office are also here who can help with everything from timetable questions to helping you find the right person to speak to. They're often my first port of call if they need help with anything. Thinking about doing a placement as part of your course? The placement team will come into your lectures in your second year to tell you about the process to find a placement. But they also help you with CV writing, helping you get a really good covering letter and application forms. I did a mock interview with them to help calm my nerves for my placement as a plant engineer at Sellerfield, a nuclear decommissioning site. Once you're on your placement year, they will stay in touch with you to make sure you're okay. This is where our HUD rail team practice their IMEC -E Railway Challenge. They work on the mini locomotive in the lab and then bring it out here to test it on this track. They have to design and build the mini locomotive to a strict set of rules and a detailed technical specification before competing. Right, onto the technology block where some of our engineering facilities are. This is the automotive lab. We've got a four-post ride simulator here, which if you study one of the mechanical courses, you would use to study dynamic systems. If you take part in the Formula Student IMEC E Challenge to design and build a single-seat race car to compete against other universities, you'll spend a lot of time in this lab. And if you study automotive and motorsport engineering, you will too. We have the engine test cells over there, and you can use the expertise of the technicians to help you manufacture different parts. And that's the end of the tour. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful.